you want to do your PhD. But the first thing that comes to your mind is where you want to do your PhD. So it's a very important decision on where you do your PhD. You may want to do it in the same city where you live, or you may want to do it somewhere else in some other country or in one of the most reputed and the best universities around the world. In this video, I will share my thoughts on what are some of the things that you should consider when deciding where to do your PhD. But before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Vidhi Poddar. I'm an associate professor and uh, you're watching a series of talks aimed at understanding the PhD process. So if you're ready to begin, let's go. The first thing to consider when deciding where to do your PhD is what opportunities you will have during and after your PhD. So if you are working in uh, or if you're studying in a top world renowned reputed universities that will definitely offer you a lot more opportunities. So please uh, keep that as the first item in your list when deciding where to do your PhD. Uh, the second thing is think about the location. Uh, which city or which country do you have a preference? So depending upon that, you could then look for PhD opportunities. Uh, there could be three different types of PhD opportunities that you might come across. One is where you self-fund the PhD. Second is where you look for PhD scholarships offered by the universities and propose a research that you want to do. If you're successful in that PhD scholarship, you can pursue your research. And third is where it is a funded scholarship, funded PhD uh, position where the uh, university or a professor or a research lab had secured funding to do some uh, particular research and they have advertised positions for PhD students who can participate in that. So in that case, you do not have the flexibility to choose the PhD topic, but you have to work on a, on a project that has already received funding. The next to consider is how long is it going to take you to complete your PhD? Different universities and different countries have different regulations. For example, in Australia, you can, it may take three or four years to complete your PhD. Whereas in US, uh, it may take much longer. So keep that in mind as well when deciding where you want to pursue your PhD. It is already, it, it is a very big uh, commitment to complete a PhD. Next on my list is thinking of the university reputation. The place where you want to uh, do your PhD, I, I recommend you choose a university that is well ranked, highly ranked in international university rankings such as the QS ranking or ARWU ranking. This will give you, this will be very useful not only for your PhD, but post PhD when you're looking for uh, academic positions or even a position in the industry, uh, the, your potential employers will look uh, will look at where you have completed your PhD from and at that point having a PhD done from a well-renowned university around the world will be a big thing. Next thing in my list is to look at the university infrastructure and facilities. For many fields such as chemistry, physics or sciences you need specific equipment, specialized equipment uh, with, without which you cannot undertake your research. So keeping that in mind is very critical. Whereas if you're doing your PhD in say business or in computer science or software engineering, uh, this, this, this is not a major concern. Finally, what you need to decide is who is going to be your supervisor for your PhD. Having world-renowned uh, supervisors for your PhD is going to make a big difference uh, in your overall quality of your, uh, of your PhD outcome. So that is one and the most important thing I would suggest when considering where to do your PhD. These are my seven tips on deciding where to do your PhD. Keep in mind and follow the order. So look for which university will give you the best opportunities. What is the location where you want to study? Uh, what type of PhD you want to do? How long is it going to take? What is the ranking of the university? Uh, what facilities does that university offer? And do you have the best supervisor that you can for your PhD? That's, that's my suggestion in terms of where you should do your PhD. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Thank you very much.